This is Milo Thornthrasher. Watch his eyes as he's able to predict his target's next move. And yeah, right now he may just be playing a game of Go Fish against a four-year-old, but to be a diligent sniper like the ones in all your favorite video games, you need the gift of anticipation. You've seen these snipers in your favorite movies, and maybe you've played a bit as a kid and as an adult. Why do you think paintball exists? But becoming a sniper isn't as easy as throwing on a pair of coveralls and paying $40 to end up with bruises all over your body. Let's start with the absolute basics of becoming one of these elite few. The FBI requires their snipers to be U.S. citizens, be between the ages of 23 and 37 years old, sorry dad, and have a four-year college degree and a valid driver's license. Okay, great. You just graduated from state college with a degree in basket weaving, got your driver's license in high school, and now are ready for years and years of grueling training. Oh, you thought they were just going to hand you a badge and equipment? No siree. Here's what comes next, and I hope you have a pen ready. So you've got your four years of college, which is followed by an interview, a written test, and a physical fitness test, a background check, a medical exam, and a drug test. Whew. Well, maybe that's not so bad. You've just got to make sure you can do a push-up or two, not have committed any crime, no time machines, so thank your past self for that one, and put on a winning smile for that interview. But don't dismiss that medical exam so quickly. Did you know that you can be discounted from training and the army in general if you have common medical conditions like eczema or flat feet? Even acne can be a problem as it can interfere with gas masks. Not that your 15-year-old pimply cousin is a prime candidate for the army anyway. So, success. You've passed your tests and are now suitable to start training. Whoa, 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 not so fast. Before you get anywhere near a sniper, you've got to put in the hours. Rome wasn't built in a day. In fact, Rome had to fly to Quantico and train for 21 weeks. This isn't basket weaving school. Your teacher won't just put on Saving Private Ryan when she has a headache. You're studying law and writing reports. You're learning firearms and the safety surrounding them. And then there's debilitating physical training on a point system. If you get below 12, you fail. If you weren't good in school, let's hope you have a backup plan. But you were good in school. And here we are, sniper graduation, where we say goodbye and go on to become useful members of society. But how do you thank someone who's taken you from crayons to perfume? By working two years in a field office. Now, I know you're antsy, but after that, you get to volunteer for SWAT indefinitely. So, show them what you got. Now, let's say that you've impressed them. Guess what? You get specially selected for stalker training. You learn about sussing out suspects, taught to fire from great distances or with limited visibility. And if you've got a history in the wardrobe department in drama class, you'll nail the art of concealment. Twelve and a half weeks of hiding in mud until your fake target shows up. Oh, feel the mud. Be the mud. The good news is, you're almost there. The final training includes some team member interrogation, then voila. That's it. It's that easy. But seriously, if you think that's easy, maybe you should go back and listen to that training part again. And remember the fact that this will only happen to an exclusive select few. So how do you make sure you get chosen? I can sense your anticipation. And that, my friend, is the key. You must be three steps ahead at all times. Always. Watch as your cards player places down her two sixes like she thinks she's in charge. You know better. Why? Anticipation. This is the most important skill in sniping, but you can't get there overnight. Firstly, you need to learn everything there is to know about your weapon. You need to practice, observe, you should even sleep with it in your bed like a teddy bear. Know that thing like the back of your hand, and don't be afraid to use it at a moment's notice. Okay, so you know your rifle. What's next? Reflexes. Sure, you're already in tip-top shape. We're talking strength and cardio, especially running, but don't overthink it. Have you tried yoga? Here's the thing about yoga. It is a means to center you and can help you be present. And a present mind gets the shot. Maybe the thought of Bradley Cooper in American Sniper doing a downward dog in the middle of a battleground is laughable, but a sniper has to be well-rounded to succeed. The final piece of advice is to be always taking note of abnormal behavior. I'm not talking about your aunt getting too tipsy at your family reunion and doing bad gaga karaoke. I'm talking about the guy who won't stop reaching in his pocket. Or maybe a woman who hasn't said a word and keeps looking over her shoulder. Or maybe, when you look closer in a stroller, there's not a baby in there. It's a plastic doll! Yeah, that's another shot at American Sniper, the movie based on real-life sniper Christopher Kyle. Snipers aren't just cool guys in video games, though. They're notable, remembered, like Major John Plaster, who served three combat tours in Vietnam in the 60s. 
Sound familiar? He only happened to inspire the quite popular video game Call of Duty Black Ops. He is a real-life example of diligence, bravery, and anticipation. So, to recap, make sure you're committed, know your weapon, and be present. And don't forget, the most important weapon is the mind. So before you go out there suspecting every strange person who looks shifty, learn, observe, and use your powers for good. Okay, Milo. Got that pair of aces? Good. Now take her out.